the word hypocritical in and of itself just doesn't sufficiently capture how craven and shameless Republicans are in their hypocritical behavior. It's just, it's not enough because they're just so in your face and brazen about their hypocrisy. Take Marjorie Taylor Greene, for example. So on February 23rd, she took to Twitter to denounce war profiteering. Now, I also agree that war profiteering is bad. It's just the messenger here is the problem. So she writes, War and rumors of war is incredibly profitable and convenient. And just like that, the media now has a lie to use as the reason for our shattered economy and out-of-control inflation. What a sad existence it must be to shill for globalism and America-last politicians. Now, I agree. War profiteering is bad. Any sort of disaster capitalism is bad. But this is a consequence of our late-stage capitalist system. I mean, every single aspect of human life has been commodified. If there's some way to make money or extract value out of something that hasn't yet been commodified, capitalists will find a way to do that. Even democracy itself has been commodified, where you can't win an election unless you raise lots and lots of money. So I get why people don't like this, right? But if you are a self-proclaimed capitalist and a proud capitalist at that, I mean, this is the inevitable result of the system that you shill for. She's not proposing any systemic changes or fundamental changes to our capitalist system at all. She's vehemently against any other forms of economic systems that wouldn't lead to this, but yet she's denouncing it. So that isn't the only ironic thing about what she's saying here, because the irony goes much deeper, because after she claimed it's sad to shill for, quote, globalism, well, as Dara Roche of Newsweek explains, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene purchased stock in a major defense contractor just one day before sending a tweet that appeared to criticize profiting from war. Wow. A financial disclosure released on Monday shows that Greene, a Republican representing Georgia's 14th Congressional District, purchased between $1,000 and $15,000 in Lockheed Martin stock on February 22nd, 2022. Greene tweeted the next day, criticizing the media and taking an apparent swipe at war profiteering, while she also took aim at the role of defense contractors in a series of tweets on February 24th, the day Russia began its invasion of Ukraine. Lockheed Martin manufactures Javelin anti-tank missiles with defense contractor Raytheon. Those missiles have been included in Western military aid to Ukraine. The U.S. and NATO have sent more than 17,000 anti-tank weapons to Ukraine, including Javelins, according to the New York Times. So she has the audacity to buy stock in Lockheed Martin and then a day later publicly condemn war profiteering. This woman has no shame whatsoever. <laughs> I'm almost speechless. First and foremost, let me just say that members of Congress should not be allowed to buy stocks. In fact, Ilhan Omar responded to this story with that very same sentiment, saying via Twitter, add this to the list of reasons why members of Congress should never be allowed to trade stocks. I think that most reasonable people can agree with that because they have information that the rest of Americans aren't privy to, so it gives them an advantage, an unfair advantage in the stock market. So that's that's thing number one. But thing number two is that you can't you can't just be this hypocritical. You can't just say war profiteering bad after you bought stocks in Lockheed Martin. Who does that? It's insane to me. It's so insane to me. I just, what do you even say? What do you even say? Now, the question is, what is her excuse? Because this story blew up online, and of course, people were asking questions. Hey, you denounce war profiteering, but yet you're profiting from wars, so why? Explain. And her answer was to uh, basically play dumb. Um, well, I didn't do this. My broker did it. Excuse me? No, no, no. You don't get to use that excuse. So here's what she said specifically. Green told Business Insider in a statement on Monday, our investment advisor has full discretionary authority over our accounts. We have owned this American company for years, and this small investment was part of our overall investment strategy. This was purchased along with other companies like Clorox, Walgreens, and Caterpillar, to name a few. She said, oh, okay. Still doesn't count. You don't get a pass for that. Why can't you tell your broker, listen, I have a moral aversion to war profiteering. Therefore, I don't want to purchase stocks in defense contractors. You can't just say that. 
I mean, what a pathetic excuse for a human being. I, I mean, she's just, she's so shameless. She's so hypocritical. I don't buy that she has no control over her stock. Sure, she probably outsources this duty to her broker, but still, you can lay out parameters as to what you do and don't want to invest in. You are choosing where to place your money, and you very much are putting your money in the hands of war profiteers. So if you're going to do that, at least shut up about war profiteering, but she can't help herself. She can't help herself. I just, I don't know what to say. This is the dumbest member of Congress, and she is hypocritical to a point where it's not surprising. It's almost a feature of the modern-day Republican Party. They contradict themselves uh, constantly. They are overtly hypocritical. They're just not serious people, and I don't know who can take them seriously. You have to not be a serious person yourself if you take these clowns seriously. What a fucking joke. Holy shit. Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.